if you're, if you're going to acknowledge or point out a gun prior to signaling, putting your hand in and saying the word mark and cueing with a hand is reserved for two retrieves, long retired and long disciplined retrieves. The no hand right there, quiet, is reserved for short birds that they have a tendency to overrun. Everything else is somewhere in the middle. 99% of the time, I don't put my hand down on a short memory bird. 99% of the time, I do put my hand down on a long punch bird. 101% of the time, I'm going to use a hand on a blind. Not necessarily to improve the blind, but to preserve the significance of no hand. You understand what I'm saying? Do you not understand what I'm saying? I just lost it. To preserve the significance of no hand. Of not using a hand. Oh. The hand when I come like this and I go right there, I want them to say, oh. I want them to open their nostrils and say, all right. You know, I want them to go in there and, and if I don't use a hand and I send them on a blind and they get like, I mean, what you've done, if you program that it, it doesn't mean anything, then that's fine. The hand makes no hand significant, and the no hand makes the hand significant. Just like the verbal versus the silent. The distinction between the two makes each of them more powerful. But if you cross lines, and you tell them right there, and you send them all out of hand, and you're giving them the cues to go and hunt, and then they get in trouble when they go and hunt, what makes them believe you and trust you when you do want them to go and hunt? When you're doing that, 10 series of the national and they overran the short bird and they're a little worried and you're trying to go right there easy and they go uh-uh i ain't believing you anymore i'm telling you it's it's the real deal so whatever the cues you use be consistent and i don't but and i'm only confused and if you have a different style and say i just don't do it that way okay but my hand is used when my hand comes down prior to ascend it's to identify, prior to signaling, it's to identify a long discipline retrieve and most likely a long retired gun. The only other time is in training is when I do a long single first past other guns, where it's a head swinging, dis but they're both signify a behavior of discipline. That's what, that's totally what it means. Like, hey, this is serious. I'm not kidding around. You better pay attention. There's going to be a quiz. When I send, the hand comes down on a go-bird for the sequence of events that lead up to being sent. Mostly A, steadiness, and B, a check, double check. Like when they look back at this gun, or you just, they know on your marks, get set, I'm about ready to go. But I'm not going until I hear the, hear the word. That's why I don't like just that sickum send on the, as soon as the bird hits the ground. Because A, they're gonna hear trigger, and B, I just think it, I mean, these, are, and you see it a ton in hunt tests, but the hunt test is all about breaking. Why don't you use something that helps control breaking? The hand coming in, the sequence of events, without a doubt, keeps a dog, tells a dog he doesn't go until the hand comes down, there is a delay, and then the, then the send. He doesn't go on the first word uttered. And when it comes to picking up memory birds, once again, I reiterate, the significance of a check down bird and that confirmation soft cue. It's not so much the word as how you say the word. It could be mashed potatoes or cheesecake, but whatever it is, I want it to go, whoo, okay. And then the hand, and you go, you know, you go, mookie. Versus, I mean, I've got probably three types of sends on a, on a mark. The go bird or the medium distance send, which is mookie. Or, right there, good, easy, mookie. Or there's heel, sit, sit, mookie. Create a distinction. Create a variance. You can get dogs to do birds that they don't know are there if you build in the tools to, to show them what that means. Some people say way out. It's, I mean, if I'm going to say way out, I'm going to say way out. Tell them to mark. Don't ask them. Don't go, where's your mark? Mark, pay attention. I did, you know, on those punch birds, you know, you can see a million of them here. If I'm going across the big lake, 
damn right I'm putting a hand in. But the hand's going to mean something. And I'm not going to dilute it. And I'm not going to dilute the key of the short checkdown bird by not using it when I wanted to do something disciplined. That's all.